Thor was the Viking god of war who protected his people by raining down thunder and lightning on his enemies. The Thor of the 21st century is just as powerful, just as deadly, except this one is no myth. This one is very real. The whole system has been built to detect, track, lock onto, and destroy a target such as a low-flying fighter plane or an attack helicopter in less than 10 seconds. The current war on terror is being fought at street level, mainly in densely populated urban areas. And that's why Thor is smarter than the average anti-aircraft missile launcher. It has also been designed for use on the ground. The Thor launcher can fire a whole range of missile types in any combination, making it equally effective against tanks and other heavily armored vehicles. The controls are very simple. You know, it gives a, an accurate weapon, and it's so simple to use. You know, once, once he's got the target, he fires, and that's it. If we engage the, the right uh, hand grip, you have control of the sight through right. this joystick controller. Piece of cake. The ATT indicates the target to be tracked. We log on the target. The sensitive thermal imaging can pick out the faintest heat signature in day or at night, even through heavy cloud. Camouflage doesn't work. We can we can see ground targets, we can see aerial targets at, at tremendous ranges. You know, we can pick up helicopters out to 10 kilometers, and even, even small UAV type targets we can see easily at six, seven kilometers. A super smart target tracking system leaves the operator free to concentrate on the main job, deciding whether to fire or not. The only thing it really has to have is a bit of aircraft recognition. Make sure he's firing at the right aircraft. Target identified as well. hostile. Then I lift this thing up right here. Yes. Boom. The safety and trigger and press to fire the missile. Like this. It all takes place in the blink of an eye, but the Star Streak launch sequence is very complex. First, the protective cap pops off the missile tube, and a pulse from the firing unit ignites the first stage rocket, launching the missile on its deadly journey. As it leaves the tube, it starts to spin, forcing rear fins to unfold, which will keep it stable in the air. Once it's clear, the first motor is jettisoned, and the second stage rocket ignites, accelerating the missile to three and a half times the speed of sound. This all happens within a half a second of the trigger being pulled. And when it gets to the target, it packs another surprise, or make that three surprises. <laughs> 